Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. I am having a huge amount of fun playing this game, so I've decided to bite the bullet and record a third episode of this before I've seen you uh, your responses to the second episode, so I don't know how you, you're going to sort of uh, respond to that one, but I know that you've really enjoyed the first one, so we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. So today, what I'd like to do is, if you look under deployables, we've got a mobile vehicle bay down here that I would like to make. So we need a titanium ingot, we need lubricant, and we need a power cell. So lubricant is easy enough, we can do that just there. I can actually make that right now, so I'm going to make that. Nailed it. Sorted. Ideal. Right, so we've done the lubricant. So next up, we want a titanium ingot. We need titanium times 10. Uh, we got two at the moment, but I think we've got most of that in our bags and stuff, so that's not really a problem. Uh, the other one that we want is a power cell. Now, for power cell, we need two batteries and silicon rubber. We can, uh, we, well, we've got the silicon rubber, but we need two batteries. And a battery is acid mushrooms and copper ore. So if we go in here, you know what? I'm actually thinking that we might have most of what we need. Uh, two acid mushrooms. So I want those. I've got the copper. So we, we can, um, I need to remember to press tab to get out of this, not escape. Right, so we go into there, we go into electronics, and we can make a battery, and then we can make another, oh, seek food intake. Oh dear, I'm running out of water. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Let's make another battery. So there's our two batteries that we got now. That means we can make a power cell. We get that one going there. Oh, that is it, that is it. The big, a big old brute that one is. So let's just take a look in here. I'll just drink that water up. Now drink that water up as well. Stabilizing. I'm going to need to go and get some more. Right, power cell doesn't take up that much space. I'm going to need to go and get a little bit more um, uh, water in a minute, the, the fish bladders that we, we're going to need for that. Right, titanium. The only other thing that I need now for making that one there is the titanium ingot. We need eight pieces of titanium. Pretty sure there was a message in here. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, that didn't sound very good. Giant snake thing is trying to eat their way into the, in, into the hull. Um, that's, that's, that's probably a bad thing. Ooh, it's dark. Right, I, I don't actually like it when it's dark. Uh, I, ooh, we have a solution to the problem. Nailed it. Okay, there's one of my wonderful chests. Where's... Ah! Oh, that's that, um, that's that thing down there, I remember now. Uh, oh, it's, yes, it's that one right there. He, he is the issue. Right, let's go over here and open storage. Now, what have we got in here? Oh, that, was the, that was the four big things in there, uh, so I don't want those. It's actually these two storages up here. Pretty sure one of these has got a load of titanium in it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven titaniums. Uh, silicon, I don't actually need silicon. We don't need that, but I could do with one of these fish. I'm going to take a Gary fish because I, I want to eat a Gary fish. And if we look in this one, I've got, so I've never got, I've got three, seven, eight, nine. That makes ten titaniums right there. And I'm going to take another Gary fish because I'm going to have two Gary fishes. And then over here, I've got this one. I need to make some more batteries uh, for the... How do, how do you do this? For um, Right, that's power 56%. I'll come down here. And then we look at these. I want the bladder fish. Actually, I'm just going to take all the fish that I can get. Come, 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 grab, 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 grab. Where's the Gary fish? Come here, Gary fish. These big ones, they don't actually do very much. Um, What's that? I, I'm trying to grab them. They won't let me grab. It's difficult to grab these. It is. It is. It is difficult to grab. Um, there's one. I got him. But I have no bladder fish, and it's bladder fish that I need because I really need some water. There's another one. There's another one. Right. I've got loads of these small fish now, but I still have no bladder fish. I need to grab. Uh, just, just, just grab all of these that I can get. There we go. Uh, there's another Gary fish over there. Get you, and then that one. Swim to surface. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Uh, let's go to that one. That's actually quicker. Nailed it. Right, there's a... Where's this PDA? Oh, there's the distress beacon. 420 meters away. Life pod 17. Stranded near a cave system and under attack. I'm not sure that I want to get involved, quite frankly, because they're under attack. And I feel that under attack 
might mean a bad thing is going to happen to me. And you know, I, I like me. I like me as I am. I'm. 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 I. I feel that uh, I should keep it me. Keep me this way. Can I? Can I slice this fish apart? What happens if I attack him? I keep doing this. Does, can. Can I? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Right. I got a. There's a boomerang there. I'm gonna keep going after this one. I'm wondering if I can if I can kill him. Can I do that? Is that a thing? Is it a thing? Can we kill? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think that we can't kill these fish. Right. If we can't kill them, then what can we do? Them. I got loads of fish here. I don't have any bits of fish, so it, it, it didn't seem to benefit me in any way. And there's no bladder fish here either. Right. And let's go to the, let's go to this one. Oh, he's dead. I'm pretty sure that fish was dead. There's another Gary fish there. Pick up the grab trap. Right, it's a lot quieter now. And uh, let's look in my inventory. Yeah, the, the thing with the grab trap is that it's, um... It does take up a bit of space in the inventory. Let me move. Uh... That way there. Right, now... There's some bladder fish over there. So let me deploy the grav trap a minute. Scan. There we go. Deployed. Let's move away a little bit. There. And that's got... Oh, actually, brilliant. That actually brings the, the limestones. Let's grab those. There we go. Got a bit of uh, stuff, whatever it was. And there is some bladder fish. These are the ones that I really, really desperately need. I need bladder fish. I need lots of bladder fish because I need water. And I've got no other way of getting water at the moment apart from the bladder fish. And I think this is the only way to do it. Oxygen. Oop, oxygen. Uh, no, that way. I keep twisting this thing the wrong way. Let's go back home and we will process. We've got a few bladder fish here. So we'll process those and then we can also do do the other bit. And then we'll go and see about this, um, this, this pod thing that we want to go to. Uh, that one. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, personal fabricator, sustenance, and water cooked for good. Oh, of course, I got salt now, don't I? I can carry food with me on long distance. So let's. I'm going to make a few of these and some food. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember <laughs> that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. <laughs> Brilliant. It is common to be repulsed by eating, for those eating synthetic foods, to be repulsed by the thought of eating an animal carcass. Um, I'm not one of those people. I enjoy eating animal carcasses. I will lay that out on the table right now, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed to say I enjoy animal carcasses. Right, uh, I want that one right there. And we've got a whole load of these cooked Gary fishes. Right, I need to drink some water. And then I'm going to eat some of these Gary fish right here. I've eaten a whole load of those. Put me up to 88. Uh, water is at 100 as well. So I've got 20 water on me, which isn't a great deal. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to use the fabricator once more, and I'm going to make one more. I'm going to go for a cooked boomerang. Go for that one. This is good eating around the fins, apparently. Okay, let's... Uh, oop, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I want to do that, and we'll get you down right so there's food is now full uh oh and now we can make our other deployable things we want basic materials we want a titanium ingot so we get all of that titanium go rushing into there and that'll make the ingot that's going to be quite a heavy beastie i'm sure of it um it actually doesn't it's, it's, it's nicely condensed okay so then we go to the fabricator deployables and the mobile vehicle bay so i have no idea what this is going to be like or what it's going to do when it deploys and, okay, mobile vehicle bay. What happens with this? Let's go and have a look. Oh, I, I, I'm liking the look of this. Let's go in here. And where should we put it? Release vehicle bay. Uh, why aren't you releasing? There we go. Here it is. Mobile vehicle bay. Um, what is it doing? Climb. Climb. Use vehicle bay. Right. What what do we do with the vehicle bay? I've not. I've never used one of these before. This is new to me. Vehicles. Sea moth. Ingredients unknown. I can't do anything with it at the moment. Right. So I've got to find the uh, recipe. I think for the sea moth in order to be able to do that. 
So we, we'll make sure that we write. We got power 53% on this. I'm thinking that we need to get a battery, which is uh, we need some copper. In order to do that, uh, do I have? Uh, hang on, I think I got copper. I got I got one copper. Okay, let me just take a look through here. Was there another one of those exploding things? There it is. Run, run. Oh! I need I need to move my sea glider. Oh, hang on. Come here. Give me a bladder fish. There, got the bladder fish. Oh, there's a bitey thingy over there. I'm not so worried about him. Um, but no, I think what I need to do is if I change that one round so that when I first roll, if I scroll down, I instantly scroll to that one. And then I can scroll twice to go to the scanner, which makes it a little bit easier. Right, so he was hiding in there. Yeah, see? No, 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 no. Right, so there's, there's two of them in there. Let me come back in here and see if I can get any more of them to... Nope, that's it. There's the other one is up there. Okay, well, well we can ignore them now. Let me grab that. Right, that's a bit of titanium. Yeah, see, it was, it was right there. And that's some cave sulfur. Excellent. I didn't even know that was there. So we have had a bonus as well. There's no more in that one. I'm looking around. Okay, let me go up. To, oh, it looks like we got a new radio distress signal. I'm just gonna get some oxygen. Actually, I don't even need to worry about that. I got. Did I? I already have copper, don't I? So I only just wanted to sort of look in there very quickly. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm um, actually no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, oh, I see. That's that's the light. Right. Um, Go in here, and I want to go to resources. Uh, oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. I want to go in here first, and I want to grab two of those. And I'm going to put these fish back in here because I'm not actually going to use them. And then I can go into the fabricator, resources, electronics, and battery. We will make a battery. And then I don't know how you actually put the batteries because the, the power is running low on this. Right, bind, quick slot, charge, converts torque. So if I do that... How, how do I recharge it? Do I have to make a new one? Um, charge 46. So if I... Uh, what's that? That's charge 100. Well, I've got a battery anyway. So I, I do have a battery. Now, it's saying... It sounds like there is actually a message on our radio. So let's just listen to that before we go off to see if we can see anything with the other people. Receiving pre-recorded distress call playing back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Right, well, there's another pod that we need to go and find, so let's just jump into water a minute. And we want to go over like this. Right, so where did we want to go? First, we had... It was that one there, stranded near a cave system and under attack. That's 500 meters away. And there's another one, Life Pod 3, somewhere. Where is Life Pod 3? I'm looking around for Life Pod 3. I don't see a... Oh, there. There, Life Pod 3 in the shallows. Crew reported their sea glide damaged. 743 meters. Um, th there is no map in this game. That's, But that's near a cave system. I'm thinking that we head over this way towards this one, but we may actually struggle with this one more than the other one because of the um, the bit, the fact that it's under attack. But there is a cave system here. Cave system could be good. Now, we've got loads of kelp forests over here. I can hear things. Am I going to regret coming over here? 32 meters deep. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Uh, um, that one's, that one's, what is that thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know what this thing is, but, um, yeah, I'm, it makes me nervous. Oh, no, probably not a good idea to hit it with a, let's, let's do this. Can I scan? I'm going to move over a little bit. I don't know what this thing is, but it's big. It's very, very big. I'm looking around it. Uh, 
I can't even scan it. Reef back. There we go. Scanning the reef back. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% scanned. Indigenous life forms reef back. Right, I'm just going to go up to the surface a minute, and then I really want to have a look at that. I want to see a bit more information about it. It's like there's stuff on there. So let's just very quickly take a look through. Voice uh, data bank. Um, indigenous life form, fauna, carnivore, uh, scavenger, leviathans, reef back. Vast life form is has 30 meters long as being designated Leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton. Chitna shell, most of the life forms top side and some of its underside is predicted by a thick layered exoskeleton. Suggests an evolutionary path quite different from other organisms on this planet, most of which are vertebrate in nature. Reefback species have likely been able to grow far larger than other herbivores because anything large enough to break through its shell has long since gone extinct. And like uh, local microcosm, harbors plants, small fish, and metal rich barnacles. Right, so apparently there is metal rich stuff on it. Uh, I want to go to this power 37. There's another one! There's multiples! Right, let's go to you. Uh, re what was that? It was a reef barnacle, a break barnacle. Uh, that doesn't scan. There's, there's lots of these things here. I don't know. I'm actually feeling kind of safe on this thing. It, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't make me, me, me feel bad. Right, I can't break that barnacle. So I will just, uh, I can't, um, veined nettle. Is that it there? Right, there's an indigenous life form. It's nothing that I can pick up. What's this? Brain coral. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving the idea of a brain coral. Uh, now, if I go through these like this, can I take samples of this? What am I doing? Inventory full. Apparently, I've already taken... Okay, uh, let's just get rid of all of these, except for... I'm just going to keep one... There's a load of brain coral there. I don't know if I need any more. Let's, um, let's break the barnacle. Break. Break! Uh, maybe I need to do it like this. Nope, not like that. It's difficult to do this while I'm moving along. There we go, I broke it. Is there anything in it? There doesn't seem to be anything in these barnacles. Okay, I've gone sidetracked. I was actually supposed to be looking for this, um, this distress beacon. There's, there's me. Uh, 858 meters away they are. Where's where's the other one? Is it below me? 30 seconds. Uh, oh! There's a whole load of stuff there. Let me go and get a little bit of oxygen. And then we can head back down again because it looked like we found roughly the area that we want to be in. Sort of. Down here. Right, there it is. 160 meters away. There is a load of wreckage and stuff down here, which means that we could explore this area just here first. Um, see if there's anything that we want to... 100 meters. Oh dear. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, we we got to be careful down here, haven't we? Perhaps we don't want to be so deep. I'm looking around for different stuff. I, I, I ought to have the, um, the scanner out, really. What is that? There are things there that look dangerous and nasty. Oh, there it is. Right, I found the pod. I'm going... Actually, no, I don't need to go up. I'm just going to go straight in. Straight in. Straight into the pod. Can I get... I, 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 actually, um, it's 82. Uh, this, this doesn't look... This doesn't look good. Oh. No, that really doesn't look good. Abandoned PDA. Let's take that. Data. new PDA data. Right, what have I got here? But is there anything else that I can get from this pod? I don't think so. I think I think we are out of information. Right, let's go. I've got 58 seconds. Is there anything else around here? We'll go and have a look at the data on the PDA in just a minute. Um, I, there was a load of wreckage over there, but I don't really want to explore it because there was some look nasty looking things and they make me nervous. What's that? That is a salt deposit. I do want to grab that. And then I just kind of want to look around as we go over the reef. Just carefully. I know that there's bitey things. And nasty bitey things. 30 oh, 30 seconds of oxygen. Right, let's go. Where is, where's our house? There's our house. We've got... Right, so our house is that way. And then we've got the other one is this way over here. 
Yeah, I'm sort of thinking, mate. Can we stop? If we press tab, do things still attack us? I'm not sure about that. Let's go to databank and reef back advanced blueprints, data downloads, Aurora survivors, life pod 70. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared. I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if it's rocks or aliens and there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora is carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There was a zero G sis, a zero G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. Okay, I'm not going to um, do it. I just read it out. Uh, blueprints. Uh, power, bioreactor, planets where organic matter is plentiful, um, maybe installed any multipurpose, right, that's a habitat thing, we don't need to worry about that now. Okay, we have that information, let us continue on. Uh, I'm going through a kelp forest, this is all the creek vine type things. There are usually teeth in these, we found to our detriment last time that there are often teeth in these areas. Right, there's those things there. What is that floating in the water above it? Those you've got to be careful of. The gas that they release out of their large tails is somewhat um, unpleasant to everybody involved. Right, what's that? Pick up a floater. I don't know what a floater does. Oh, I know what it does. We pick up the floaters and then it, you, you take them... Yeah, hang on. Floater. 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 Down it goes. Drop the rock. Let's go this way. Oh, it's um, darkness is falling, and I'm, I'm a little bit nervous now. Let me just have a look in here. I've got four of these. These floaters here, composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis. Life cycle unknown. Okay. Um, power 14% on this one. We're still 150 meters away from our intended target, but ooh, there's an island. I can stand on here. Sort of. Can I? Can I stand or not? I, I don't know if I can stand or not. But there is where we need to go. We're just 80 meters away. We kind of need to avoid the things with teeth. And they hide in the kelp. We know the things with teeth hide in the kelp. What's that? That is a sea glide. Sea glide fragment. Um, I want to go that way. Scan. Is that going to be a better sea glide? I don't know. I'm looking around. Oh, 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 no, we got a huge great big hole in here. This this is looking this is not looking good. Let's take that. Data downloads, live pod through three. Uh data box. Compass. New blueprint. Oh, because we've got a compass blueprint. Uh, I'm looking around. I don't see anything else in here. Then there. What's that? Right, uh, you know, I'm thinking that maybe we should go home. We've got 10% power. Let's head back. We'll take some of this data and we, we can sort of have a look. We're 9%. Let's hope that we can get there quickly because we are running out. I've run out. Exchange power source R. Oh, I see. Right. Uh... Right, so I, I press R and then, um, then what? Oh, I see. Unload battery. Battery zero, and then battery there. Right, we have battery. Fully charged. We're off again. So, so all you got to do is you just got to have batteries on you so that you can replace them as and when you need to. So let's just go down here and come out. Escape. Board escape pod. There we go. Right. Fabricator first. I'm going to go into here and in here. Right, what do we got? Oh, compass. Displays head on the HUD. We need a wiring kit for that. I'm not too worried about making one of those. Not at the moment. Um, scanner. Well, I don't actually need a scanner. A flare. A habitat. Habitat builder. That is what we want next. We want to make the habitat builder. So we need a wiring kit and a computer chip. Let's go here. I'm going to make some water. I have... Right, we've got the brain coral sample. I'll need to do something with that. I have no copper at the moment, so I can't make another battery. How do you charge batteries? Is there a way to charge up dead batteries. This is what I want to know now. Is I want a battery charger. Ooh, what about uh, can I just use a repair tool on it? I've got the repair tool here. And uh, no, that also needs something. So, how do we charge batteries? There must be a, there must be a battery charger here. So, are you a battery charger? What about you? Are you a battery charger? No. You're not. 
All right, let's open up the storage container. I will take one of you out and I will put the dud battery in until I can type until such time as I find out how to repair a um, battery. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I want to go in here and I want to go there. We want to go and we want to take a look at the other log. Unidentified crew one, you really think it'll carry two of us? Crew two, your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilos over 30 kilometers an hour. This power cell I rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there faster? Oh, sure. That's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Um, guessing it didn't go well for them. Guessing it did not go well for them at all. Scavengers and parasites, shuttle bug. Uh, common scavenger at the base of the food chain. Uh, three mandibles, assessment, necessary. Waste recycler presence may indicate nearby cave systems. All right, let's not worry about the rest of that. Uh, have we got, uh, no, 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 no. Blueprints. I got new blueprints. Got three new blueprints. I got the compass, which is one that we found. And we've got, oh, the mobile vehicle bay. We must have uh, discovered this. So the sea moth. I want to find the sea moth. And I think that maybe it's the, yes, yeah, the bioreactor there. Um, multi-purpose room. Right. What we, what we need to do is, is um, if you look in here, we've got the, it's not under deployables, is it? It's under personal tools. The habitat builder right there. I need a battery, a computer chip, and a wiring kit. So a battery requires a piece of copper ore. We got acid mushrooms and nothing. We, 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 those are fine. Um, we need a computer chip. So we need table coral sample, gold, and copper wire. We've got the gold. Table coral. See, I'm pretty sure that's not too bad. Silver ore as well. Right. Um, silver ore, I know that I've got. So I've got one silver ore there. Now, table coral sample. We had coral samples, but I'm not sure what coral samples I had. I got salt there for long-term food. Uh, I've got to stop doing that. Right, let's jump in here. Let's just take a look at what we got in these two over here a minute. We've got in here... Uh, right, I got coral tube sample. I need table coral. I got quartz, lead, and a creature egg. I'm not really sure what to do with the creature eggs at the moment. We'll leave those in for another day. Uh, let's go over to this one, and we've got quartz and glass, and yes, right, so I need table coral. I need to find a, I need to find table coral, I need to get a table coral sample, and, right, is that down here? No, that's, that's the palms. Ooh, what's this? Table coral, right. That was easy enough. If I go there. One. Two. There we go. Oh, I've actually, I've got, to, I've got to stop and I've got to pick it up. So I, I need a couple of these. How many do I need? Careful. I'm looking around. There's, uh, oh, there's that thing over there. He's, he's rather nasty. Be sure it's just gotten dark. Let's go to this one and we can whiz up through here. So yeah, I've got the table coral. So I'm going to go and stand on this one just because it's going to be easier if I stand up on here. Right, I don't want to use that, but I just want to stand here. So I got three table coral samples. So if we go to the blueprints in here, um, the computer chip, oh, that needs two. So I need that, and I need a wire. Right, I need a silver ore now. So I need copper wire. So I need more copper. I'm gonna need, yeah, right. Uh, that's two copper. That's a piece of copper as well. I need three or four pieces of copper at least. And then if we look down through here, we've got the habitat builder. Is a battery, so I need a piece of copper for that. Wiring kit. I need two copper for the wire. And, and and then computer chip. So the computer chip requires two copper. That one, oh, no, I don't need anything for that one. So I need two copper for that and another copper. So I need three pieces of copper. We've got the other stuff for that one. And then the silver ore. I need one more silver ore. Advanced series alien eggs. Evidence suggests a substantial number, if not all the local species reproduce egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, blah, 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 blah. Different species likely favour different biomes as their nesting. It's impossible to calculate species of the egg from the exterior. However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. Right, so we may be able to hatch something out later on. Um, I don't want to worry about that right now. No, what I'm actually looking for is to see if I can find where I get... Um, we've got fauna and flora right here. Exploitable. C. Blue palm, veined nettle. No, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find... The best place to get silver. It seems to tell me nothing, unfortunately. So we're going to have to just explore the caves. So we've got these caves over here. I'm actually thinking that maybe we should head over this way and there may be some new caves because we've already explored those caves. 
Uh, well, there's uh, there's some wreckage there. I'm not actually going to pick that up, though. I'm going to go around here. And what I'm looking for is anything stuck to the cliff sides. If we can find those. Ah, no. Run, run. There's two of them. There is two of them. What is wrong with those things? How can it possibly be an evolutionary advantage to suicide yourselves every time you see somebody? That was just ridiculous. But fortunately, we got this sea glide, and the sea glide is uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tool, and it helped us to escape. So we don't need to worry. No need to panic. Of course, I didn't panic. I would never panic. Ah! No! 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 Oh. Nasty things! I hate these things. These make me so nervous. No, I was not panic king. Oh, I thought there was another one. Right, pick up a creature egg. That's probably... Oh, there is cave sulfur. I, I don't remember what we need the cave sulfur for, but it's probably going to be useful. Uh, right, let's have a look in here. Oh, there is something. Sandstone outcrop. What is that? I think I just got some silver. Right, so all I need... We got quartz aplenty in here. I don't want quartz. Um, she thinking I should switch over to this one. Not, is that, not that one. Yeah, there we go. Ah, 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 ah! What is wrong with these things? Um, let me go. Oh, there he is. So he was hiding in there. Uh, let me get that right. So they, they're the ones that have the cave sulfur. We've got there. There's a creature egg there. I'm going to leave the creature egg where it was. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to listen for more. And then when I'm fairly certain that I've actually activated all of them, then we can go back and we can worry about these other things. Right. Break that. And I don't know if I got some more, but let's go swimming to the surface a minute. Get some oxygen. I love the fact that you can leap out of the water like that. It's so cool. Right. We want to keep sort of exploring. How much have I got? How much have I got? What have I got? Let's just, just take a look in the inventory. So I, I got table coral samples. I got cave sulfur. I got an, one silver ore there. I got some quartz, salt deposits, gold, um, lead. Right. I, I've only got one. So I need copper. Copper is the one thing that I need. More than anything else, I need copper. Uh, right. Let's have a look around. So that's quartz. I mean, I've got some quartz lying around now, so I'm not, I'm not too sort of concerned about that. Let's go through these, and we'll just go to the torch. And we'll use this, and we will go at a little slightly more sedate pace through this cave system here. And there I did get some copper. What have we got down here? We've got some sandstone there, and that was uh, another silver ore. Excellent. And we got some copper as well. Okay, now I am pleased. I am happy. I still need more copper, though. I'm going to need another couple of copper, at least, in order to complete what we need to do. Um, looking around here. And, oh, well, yeah, I thought there was one. i seen one. That's just titanium, though. Right. Uh, there's another one over there, so I can grab that one a minute. That is copper. That is definitely copper. That's excellent. And uh, are there any more on the outside of here? Scanner. Right, I heard something. I'm not sure what it was that I heard. It sounded dodgy. Right, where is my habitat? Because if I can... Oh, the habitat is over there. It's 80 meters that way. If I can locate that. I mean, yes, there is Mr. Teeth down there. But him, I'm... So now that I've got the seagull item, I'm not actually worried too much about teeth. Uh, that they're okay. Let's grab that. That looked like more copper that I just got, which is excellent. Uh, oh, there's my grav trap. And last time I deployed the grav trap, I actually did get some um, bits of copper and stuff. Let's have a look around here. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else on it. Well, nothing, nothing that I want anyway. So I mean, looking at, I'm looking back over this side. There's cargo there, but there's. I think I've already explored this bit. What if I? What about down here? There is something. There's a grav trap fragment. Nope. I want to go that way. Right. Uh, scan you. Is that going to be a new... Oh, this... Is that just giving me some titanium? I think it actually gave me titanium then. But I got three copper ore. Right, I'm looking through here. I can hear things exploding. And I'm not sure that explosions are a good thing. Uh, right. There's another grav trap fragment there. Right, what's that? 
That's, I'm pretty sure that thing there in front of us is the thing that was exploding. And quite frankly, it looks evil. Oops. Yeah, o oxygen would be a good idea. Let's, let's go. Let's go and get a bit of oxygen. Then we can come back and look at the evil creature. But I think... I, no, I don't. I don't have enough, do I? Uh, how many copper wires do I need to make? I've got to make a couple of copper wires. Right, that thing there. That thing there is the thing that I want to look at. What is that thing? There's teeth up there. This. Pretty sure it's nasty. It's going under the sand. It's like an ambush predator of some kind. And then we've got that one over there. What is that doing? What, what is going on here? That is... Uh, there's, there's another teeth machine. Oh, they're, they're just fighting each other. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to go. I'm going to go and torment them a little bit by swimming close to them. But generally, I need to be. Ooh, uh, I need to avoid the gas. Right, where where is my habitat? I think we should go home rather than um, trying to you know tempt fate here. I should have. Oh, there it is, over that way. Surprising how far you can go with this sea glide now. Cut creek vine with knife. No, I don't want to do that at the moment. I will at some point soon. I will do that, but I'm out of space on my bags. Oh, what's that? A stalker tooth! Okay, uh... Let's look in here. What what can I drop? I'm going to drop a floater. And I'm going to grab that stalker tooth. Just because... Where, where is it? Where did it go? Where, where did it go? Oh, no. There was a... Ah! Oh! Oh! That really scared me. There was a stalker tooth down here. I want that stalker tooth. I seen it. He's over there. He's, he's come back for his tooth. That's what it is. He came back to get it. That's not That's not fair. It was right here. Oh, no way. Ah! Okay. Okay. I'm going to go away now. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to go home. Let's go home. Go home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Okay. Um... I was big and brave then. I, I, there was there was no problems. There was there was no hiccups. There was there was no hitches. It, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Copper wire. I need to make some copper wire. Let's let's right. Let's, let's all be calm and sensible. Uh, so I can make a wire and get com uh, compute. Oh dear. Oh no. I got the two silver ore for that one. And then I also need the uh, computer chip for that one. And then I need the battery as well. Advanced wiring kit. Acquired. Right. New blue. Uh, new blueprint acquired. I love it when she says that. Acquired. It, it sounds so cool. Right. Uh, I've already got one acid mushroom, so I need that one, and that's the other piece of copper ore that I've got. We can use that very quickly in the fabricator. Oh, the, the uh, advanced wiring kit. Wiring kit gold, and as we need two gold for that. Okay, that's fine. But I need a battery right now. I got one. Chuck all of those in. Ideal. Personal tools. Right, have we got anything new in here? We've got a habitat builder. Yes, that is what I want to make. I'm um, just looking down through these other things to see if there's any new deployed. No, there's nothing there yet. Okay, tools. Habitat builder. That is what I wanted to make. This is what I wanted today. The builder tool. Designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Ah, oh, that is just fantastic. We've got our Habitat Builder. Let's just take a look in here and scan a Habitat Builder. I'm going to take that one instead of the Repair Tool, just like that. It's going to go in there. Um, Yeah, Repair Tool over there. Right. Habitat Builder. Uh, What what have I got on me? Have I got, I got Titanium on me? Let's go outside. Let's go out here. And you. Habitat Builder. Right, how do you use... <gasps> oh, look! I can do it. L-shaped compartment. Foundation. Lead. I need lead for that. I guess that kind of makes sense that you need lead to, to, to do the bottom bit. And we've got interior pieces, interior modules. <gasps> this is going to be so much fun. Okay, we're going to be doing this in our next episode. We are going to be building our first ever habitat. We also need to have a hunt around to try and find some more bits and pieces. We're going to have to explore around a little bit further and see if we can find anything else. But anyway, that is all we got time for today. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.